All right, so this is da it's Daniel Murphy, and what do we have here? We have a big pin oak. It's out over the house, out over the pergola, out over the sunroom, and in 2012, back quite a bit. But this one, I decided to remove it all together. But in my style of pruning, to take this entire branch off, I decided the collar was clearly developed. We could see exactly where to make the cut and where not to. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Give me a second here. And there we are. I might clean that up a little bit more, but certainly that's gonna be better for the tree in the long term than violating the branch bark union here when the, when the initial cut was made six years ago. The tree's got plenty of time to set up chemical defenses, put up its barrier. Now it'll just grow over that stub, very similar to the way it heals a wound in the woods. So that's the way I like to take anything over four inches off when I'm on the main stem of the tree. Reduction pruning, I don't mind. Like, let's look at this guy over here. That's a big cut there. There's probably some decay involved. Let's zoom in on that for you a little bit. There's probably some decay involved, but what's it got? It only has to hold up the end of that branch, and we're gonna be back to prune that right now, six years later anyhow. So, uh, Daniel Murphy, that's the way I prune big trees. There's another cut there, but that's not on the main stem. That's a big cut. And another cut there. This customer wants the tree cut harder than I normally would have cut it anyhow. But So try to keep the customer happy and do what's best for the tree rather than lose the job and let someone come in here and totally butcher the tree. All right. You guys have a beautiful day. Take care.